buddy. <laughs> this is about so where you want to cut this off. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and start mine, kind of back. Uh, he'll be proud. I better change my game name. What am All I? right, all right, everybody. Felt We're gonna hard. do a nice, uh, nice Blood Bowl night of System Light. Again, it's gonna be based off of the Blood Bowl RPG. Uh, which is essentially murder football rugby in the Warhammer Fantasy setting. Um, obviously trademarked by Fantasy, not Fantasy Flight Games, uh, Games Workshop, so don't sue me. Um, we've got three players tonight. Would have had a fourth, and fourth, they couldn't make it. No worries. Uh, we'll play on in spirit. No one wanted the high elf here anyway. So, going left to right, we've got Skitter Leap Catch, played by TD. Is our resident Skaven gutter runner scumbag, and we've got two dark elves. Um, one of them a witch elf, the other one a your bog standard dark elf, mean mean people. But we will uh, jump right into it as you're in the middle of a game. We actually get you out here. Brett Favor, what are they, my man? <laughs> Come on, Bert. Oh, I'm so big. <laughs> All right, so this first game, it is a 1 1 tie approaching the end of the second half. You guys are down. It's been a brutal game. Over the course of this game, Malice and Fekash have both killed another player uh, on the other team, as you can see indicated up here. One was decapitated, the other was disemboweled. I don't really care which one you did to either, but both of you are murderers on this pitch. Status of the game. Is again, 1-1 one, one tie. You, you've got the ball. Last drive of the game. So functionally, at the bottom here, what we've got, if you can see this little hazard marker, that is the turns remaining. So games get played up to 16 turns, whatever the score is. At the end, the winner, or it's a draw. So all points down here. That's the, that's the touchdown zone. If you get there, that's point. You've all got movement on your character sheets. Uh, that's about how far you can move. I think I have to update Sims, actually. Yours is going to be, let's see, seven. So I'll fix that real quick. But that's how many squares on the pitch you can move. All right. Sweet. Let's get some music. So there's a, there's a quick huddle before you guys come out. Uh, and, and Bert's looking around. He's got all these, and these are, you know, he's got everybody around him. It's like, all right. We're down one. We don't have much time left. Taking suggestions. What's the play? I got one in mind. What's the play? Just looking at you guys. So what? what's what's being said here? We killed him. Yeah, that's that, that's every game. Every game you see that. What's 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 the plan for right now? That's a secondary. Right now, we need to score some points. Yes, yes. More points. Let's do it. Throw the ball. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right. Malice, if it cash, if you can block real hard down this left side, push through, give Skitter a chance to catch it. We just might be able to get this game. Got it. All right. Sounds good. Kill him. All right. All right, Skitter. I know we don't like each other. All right, at least I don't like you, but you need to catch this ball. You got it? You got to catch this. This is the game-winning ball. Yeah, yeah, no one likes the skitter. Just catch the ball. All right. Here we go. Let's head out. 
So it'll be your turn, the way this works. You can look at the Blood Bowl handout, it should be available. There's a lot there to read, uh, but pretty much to simplify it, uh, you throw blocks basically as attack test. If you're going to try to block someone, you can try to dodge past people, which is based on reflex. Basically, just tell them what you want to do, and I'm happy to walk you through it. But you got to do it within your movement. So, pretty much you get one action, one move. So, you guys, it's your guys' turn. Go uh, can Skinner be moved up here? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, you can start. Okay. There. That's where, I mean, that's where I would assume he was behind the two murderous blockers. <laughs> Alright. So, who's first? You guys are first. Yeah, okay. I am asking which one of you two. My love, uh, Cash go first. Alright. Uh, well, the Cash will. Oh, well, it looks like one of our teammates is in front of us. You can push past him. Yeah. They're so not getting in way. So <laughs> she's gonna. <laughs> so she's gonna push past him and, uh,. Go for basically uh, charge right at the orc lineman right in front of her. Okay, that one. All right, so it's gonna be blocking. So what blocking is? It's gonna be a strength versus strength check, and the winner of that test does a guaranteed one damage. Oh, uh, you do? That's weird. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, I think everybody has access to lineman tokens because they're just linemen. Uh, I have access to the R2 PCs. I have access to the Malice. Hmm, let's sort that out. I am Malice now. Oh, man. Yeah, I... Oh, that's what it is. So let me sort that. Yeah, I'm oh, yeah. people in journals, not, uh... <laughs> yeah, I have access to them too, yeah. Yep, so I'll sort that, and Ooh. done. Okay, so now, now everybody should just be able to control themselves. Control yourself. Um, <laughs> so strength versus strength, so he's gonna I try to... Down. Ooh! Ah. So for that... I take one. Yep, you take one damage, at least, and then... Let's see. Take one damage at least, and then a follow-up strength versus athletics test. So my strength versus their athletics, or vice versa? Uh, your, your athletics versus their strength. Let's see how bad he how blocked you here. Oof. That's not bad. Not so bad. Um, just, just one. Ty goes to the player. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, it's only, it, it only does it if you, if you exceed by six or more. Oh, oh right, 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 right. So, let's see. So, typically, this causes you to hit the ground. I don't like that. So, let's do, we're going to roll reflex to see if you stay up. So, your, your reflex is going to be TN12. That's standard for everybody to see if you stay on your feet after block. All right. But you will be pushed back one square. Okay, so you're on your feet, but you get pushed back, and so does this guy. So, oh, this is push back one. He's falling up. You can choose to follow up or not if you succeed on a block. So there's some basic stuff. So describe how this looks. So uh, for cash, will kind of uh, pole vault over the line man in front of her and dive at the black orc uh, in front of her. And... As she attempts to attack, he easily kind of bats her off, and uh, she'll kind of uh, fall back on her back with a bit of a wound, but spring back up, pushing the line man back as he advances. I'm gonna gut you, pansies! Is coming at you, trying to push you back. Bite me! <laughs> Whoever's next. All right, I'll go ahead and go since he's gonna be coming up behind us. Uh, I'm gonna throw a block on the same orc. Mm, okay. Let me get these boys down. Oh, nice. Ballsy. And I'm gonna oh. try to do a chop block on him. All right. So what we've got here, chop block. So what we've got here, 
Um, let's see. As far as rounds, so you're getting assisted by one. He's getting assisted by. You're getting assisted by two, two. So it'd be a wash anyway. So if there are more, if there's multiple people around you, that affects how the blocks are thrown. You might get additional strength dies. This sort of represents other people helping you make a block. So I say right now it doesn't matter because you got the same amount of people. Around. Oh no, you do get one. You get plus one die because you got you're outnumbering him. All right. You two here, three on your side. So you get plus one die for your strength. Oh, oh, oh man! Ah. Hit him though. So in your strength again. So it still counts for an additional die. There we go. Hang on. Mhm. Mm Much mm. better. No. Oh. They're pretty tough. So tell me about your chop block. So seeing that uh, the orc, the orc was engaged with feet cash, he just ran through his line and just dove at his knees. Nah, that's it. Looked the wrong way. He, he, he's getting pushed back and gets knocked on his ass from the block. Failed his reflex. <laughs> There's a hole. All right. And again, the linemen can move wherever they're gonna gonna move. I'm not gonna roll for all of them all the time. Go ahead, Skitter. All right, so Skitter, he's gonna uh, try and just go for a mad dash, basically, and it's uh, free move to go through my through other PCs. So free to move go through own. other PCs, yes. But when it comes to cutting through here, where you're cutting past enemies, we're gonna we can talk about tackle zones now. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, sure. Every player has a tackle zone on the eight squares around them. If you try to run through it, you have to make a dodge attempt. And okay. A base difficulty of nine. And uh -huh. if you're making successive dodges, the difficulty increases by three for each dodge up to target number 18 so if you're gonna go through here you're dodging into there there and then a third one so you're you would go to 9 12 and 15 you don't have what That's hang on strange things happening no, here it's it's there now I just changed the name down at the bottom and it was okay. fine Perfect. so you would you'd have to make a, a 9 a 12 and a 15 to make it through right there to right. Could do it though. Oh, yeah. do, well, if you, so if you're gonna dodge through all the way and like move your full movement, like to move out of their squares would be a TN fifteen uh -huh. at the end. And that's and that's all. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go for it. All right. Remember, you have luck die as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, the first one would be right here then. Mm -hmm. to, because you're because you're dodging square. from here into the middle of them, so that's nine. Okay, so, oh, and you said, what again, reflexes? Yep. This is your wheelhouse, I'm, I've expected this. <laughs> okay, perfectly fine, move to the next square. <laughs> and then and this one has 12. to be 12, you said. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh-hoo! All right, now here's the big one. This is 15, so move and move to the next square. All right, I'm going to use the luck die on this one. Go for it. Nailed it. Nice. All right, and then you can continue so to move I... up to your max. So you're you're free now. You don't have to roll anymore. Oops. Sorry. Okay. Right. So I should be right there. So describe how that looks. All right. So Skitter, being the little rat that he is, he it's like he condenses himself to fit through all these little holes, and he. His head just bobbing back and forth is, you know, like he's looking for all these little holes. And he's just, he's like smoke just sliding through all these little cracks. He's bobbing and weaving his head. Like I said, is up and down. He's everywhere. It's, it's like, it's like he's, it's like he's the slime that is coating his, his fur and skin. Just slipping through. And then he, he, he makes this opening here and just takes off in a dead sprint. 
when you blow by these uh, linemen as my dogs scream in the background cheering. Um, so now we've got... Yeah, fans. we got Bert. And Bert is going to attempt to make a pass to you. You're going to have to respond with a reflex. So, with, with catches, this is an athletic feat. You don't have anybody trying to stop you. Um, as far as this goes, it is a pretty pretty long pass. Um, so we're gonna go with a TN12 for. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a TN15 for him for the pass, and then a TN12 for you for the catch because you gotta eye it in. Okay. So I'll roll his pass, yeah. and then if he makes his, you roll your. Okay, so he's made his pass. Now you gotta make your catch, TN12. Easy. No problem. So Bert winds it up, and he's, as many times before, gunslinger, slings it downfield to Skitter, and then you do what? Skitter, in the, in the midst of making his mad dash out here, he's, he takes off. And as he as he breaks away from the line, he begins to look back over his shoulder, and the ball is already there. And he just sticks his one hand out, his one clawed hand, and just boom, clasps it as if as if he's got stick him on his hand, and just just continues just continues in stride. <clears throat> All right, and then the rest of everyone's gonna move to their respective blocks here to try to tie people down. Oh man, he made a made a catch with a nosebleed. You handle yeah, your business, man. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> We're gonna need him tested. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so all all of these um linemen pile in, I'm just gonna make some I wanna make one test to see how they all do to save time because otherwise we'll be here for a while. So it's gonna be strength versus strength. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, neither one of them rolled very well, but um, the orcs definitely took that one. So several linemen are going to take uh, some damage here. Not everybody. And again, I apologize for everybody on YouTube. is going to hear the dogs bark, but I'm stuck with it. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just give all these guys some wounds down here. Just say that it's great. It's not going very well down here at this time. But the other side's holding firm with this orc being knocked down. Um, and that's everybody in their turn. So your last turn is coming up next turn. And this is going to be their last turn on the um, orc side. So uh, important people are going to go on the orc side here. First and foremost, the goblin in the back is going to try to basically knock you down here. So let me go ahead and see what... Don't do it, God. bro. Good gobbo. Got a guy for that, right? So it's going to be his strength. Um, now check your... I believe you do have some, some talents here that are special to you. You should have something called dodgy. Instead of using strength, you can just avoid a block instead but you must move it one square away oh uh, okay 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 so yeah he's gonna try to strengthen you here she can oppose that with strength or reflex yeah it's okay i'll just use my reflex all right oh, so you boy. have to move one square away whatever direction you want to go in is that acceptable it. move? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so uh, goblin here. 
as as uh, Skitter is is looking over his shoulder and he ca he catches the ball in his one paw, he notices this goblin moving in the, into his uh, general direction, and uh, he tucks his tail in around his waist and just sort of starts to do like this almost a high stepping type of move as the goblin lays out and catches nothing but air and Skitter definitely away and, and and headed toward the end zone. Right. Did we catch all, um, we catch all that? Yes, we did. I'm just going to close my door because I'm getting tired of it. All right. Uh, now the rest of them. So there are a couple more important players here. This troll is going to try to run rough shot on this poor lineman and just bully through him. <laughs> Almost didn't. Oh, this could be bad. Damn. Oof. All right. So now we're going to talk about a wonderful thing called injury rolls. Mm -hmm. Um. So, whenever you go down, you have to roll 2d6 to see what kind of injury you get. Uh, and I got a little table here. So, 1 to 9, you're badly hurt. You can return to the game, but you won't have any wounds. If you get knocked down again, you're going to have to roll that 2d6 again. So, you can continue to play, but there's always a chance that bad shit happens. If you hit a 10, you're out for the game. So minor injuries like broken necks or ruptured tendons and things like that, that happens from time to time, and then you're out for the rest of the game, but the apothecary will get you fixed up. On an 11, you get a stat down, you're out for the rest of the game, and you lose a stat to see it's a permanent minus one. And if you roll a 12, you're dead. Woo. Now, all teams have one apothecary roll they can use, which can negate the injury result entirely, and it just gets treated as you getting knocked out. But it can only use once, and it may not be used for any other injuries. So, probably not going to use it for this guy, because he's not important. But we're going to see a 2d6 to see what happens. Seven. So he's just knocked out, I believe. Yep, he's badly hurt. So he mm. can he can return to the game if he needs to, but he's, he's probably out for the rest of the game. So he's... This troll just bulls through this guy and smashes through him and uh he's not gonna do anything else he's just, so he trolls just winds up and just uppercuts this guy about 15 feet back <laughs> and he just lays in a heap near favorite's feet and you just hear the <laughs> fucking passed out and then the orc's <laughs> gonna stand up. And if you stand up, you don't get to do anything else. That's your turn. You don't get to make blocks. Um, this orc's gonna try to bully this guy in front of him. Athletics is this right? Let's try that again, shall we? Sure game, bro. So we'll take that as his athletics then. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> and he gets knocked down. This orc loads up and just blasts this guy backwards. You see, you hear him, you hear some teeth bounce off your armor, Felhart, as this guy just gets tossed back and knocked on his ass. Get up, baby. And now you, so this guy is trying to break away from you, Mal, so you will get to, if he's going to try to roll a dodge, um, to get away, so let's see if he's able to do so, because he's going, he's going for Skitter. Okay, TN9, yeah, he makes it. And what's his movement? Five. 
two, three, four, five. He can just get there, but he's gonna have to try to go. He's got to try to go further in order to hit him. So he's gonna have to like go into the square to hit you, basically. So let's see what happens. So for this, if you're trying to run further than your movement allows, there's a thing for this. Um, I did have it. Movement, there it is. So, you had to roll your reflex with a target number of nine for one additional square. So he's going to try to roll that in order to hit you. To have the opportunity to hit you, I should say. So he's hauling, his orcs hauling it down the field trying to catch up to you. And he just barely does. So he's going to try to hit you. He's going to try to put his shoulder in you. Oh my god. Easy. Move your one. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of trips clumsy. Whoa! He's sidestepping, barely keeping his balance. He's, he's yeah. More like a stumbling, bumbling buffoon, and he, he kind of he loses his balance and 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 skitter jump and rides him for a moment as if he's, you know, rolling a barrel uh, <laughs> under his feet and then continues to run. All right, and that's their turn. And it's to your final turn. This is the last turn of the game. Um, so whoever wants to do so, you guys can still make blocks and everything. Skitter seems pretty uh, far and away going to make that. So you guys can still beat up on people if you'd like. Yes. So if the cash will go after the uh, black orc, right over here. Okay. He will get additional strength die because he's got. There's more of you around than him. And his buddies. Woo! Damn. Tie goes to the player. So. Ah, sweet. Roll your strength again, same thing, you still get that extra die. Uh, ooh. Let's see if he stands up, if he's able to keep his feet. Nope, not to knock him on his ass. <laughs> can I get on a square? <laughs> yeah, sure, you can push him back. And... I think I have a thing where it's like, if I'm in the same square as them... Oh, uh, blocks player should be follow up, or... The opponent moves backwards twice when the cash is maneuver. Oh, so you're trying to push him push him back again? Uh yeah. Alright, you can I think it's a follow-up block. Let me see. I gotta read that one again. Oh! I, I just I just read like the kill maim yeah. one. If an opponent is within one square of Fakash on her turn, she must roll the power of a TN twelve. If she fails to pass the test, she immediately attempts to frenzy block on her turn. Mm -hmm. That's fine. We, we, we'll, we'll sort. We can sort that out. All right. All right. Success is one. Yeah. So push him um, back more, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So you could you could do a follow up block. Yeah. You can block him again. All this right. This one will be at your regular strength. And this one won't penalize you if you make because he's he's reeling back, so he's so. not gonna, he's not really making good block attempts. All right. And he'll be on his ass even if you fail this second one. Mm. Okay. Oh. No, nothing nothing happens adverse to you, but he does get he does get banged down a bit and gets knocked to the ground. Maybe that's why you couldn't hit him again. <laughs> he gets, oh, 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 just gets pushed again. <laughs> Alright, Malice. Alright, so that, do I have to do that kill main thing? Yeah, TN twelve willpower or else you have to throw a block. Gotcha. Go away, Baton. <laughs> no. Jesus Christ. <laughs> thought I did beat my mic. Holy fuck. Sorry, All right. Whoops. Cut that out, Ted. Um, so we're playing, uh, we're, what we got here? 16? Okay. Yep. So, you can do whatever you want. You're not bound by anything. So I can move away from him if I wanted to? 
You oh, certainly I have to roll dodge. Oh, you have to dodge, but you can do it. So. All right. I'm gonna go after. Uh, uh, guess it'd be orc lineman right here. So my dodge. That's All right. Uh, so that's was it strength versus reflexes? Uh, as far as trying to do the dodge first. Yeah. Uh, TN nine reflex. Okay, and you made it. Um, all right, it's now the block, if you'd like to do a block. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and throw an elbow in this guy's face. Throw three additional strength die, because this guy's on the ground, so he's not affecting the play. So you've got three players around this guy. Excellent. Can I use a luck die, too? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> if you really want to fuck this guy up, go for it. Why not? I might as well. Roll an additional uh, three die, though, I think. Yeah, because you use luck die and you've got three players to round him, so. An additional three die, so 20. Okay. That'll hit him, and then roll it again. Same stuff, you're going to roll, I think, eight dice total. <laughs> Alright, so that's... 19, uh, three more. Ah, shitty. 26. Not quite enough to end him, but you guys sort of dogpile on this poor lineman and start beating the hell out of him. <laughs> Where are you going? Get off of me! Ah, he's trying to fight everybody off, but it's basically lineman both holding him down, and you and Fakash are just putting the, putting the boots to him medium style. <laughs> Get over here. All right, and then uh, Bert's back here celebrating because he knows that we've done it again. And Skitter, Skitter's going for the TD. Isn't that, <laughs> isn't that, isn't that funny? <laughs> And, uh, so, uh, so, I like TDs. So Skitter, Skitter's getting a little, you know, he's just he's taking his time uh, after, after this bumbling fool back here, uh, fell down and he easily dodged, um, this goblin here. He, he's sort of doing a little dancey strut type of thing, you know, in, in, in a, in a slimy way because he's a slimy character and he makes the touchdown and he does, uh, not a dance, but he 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 sort of does a little celebration, and he points back to to Brett here, who who, who does not uh, return his his uh, point or uh, excitement. I guess he he's kind of doing his own thing and celebrating with the line, and then you have poor Skitter over here celebrating by himself. He's like, slap hands, slap hands, and nobody wants this with his grossness. <laughs> As you cross that, as you cross that line, though, this is a home game. The crowd goes wild. <laughs> Scoreboard flips. Everyone begins to cheer and excited. It's the Patchwork BB Club, as you are known. I've done it again somehow. Pulling off against extraordinary odds against the big green bruises. And as you're all celebrating, and people are high fiving, walking around, a very angry troll walks over and smashes Bert Favor into the pitch. <laughs> and it's just stunned silence. And the cash will run over. And you look at Bert, it's it's a smear of what Bert once was. It is just a a pile of flesh. 
No, not Bert. But we scored. You did. <sighs> the game was over. The troll did that. You Get that troll. Up. It's looking at you guys all stupid. Get it. And Fakash will uh launch herself at the troll. <laughs> yeah, it just it devolves into a massive melee after that and people are are pulling out previously hidden weapons and going at it and it's very a very rough scrum, which you all come out of, though some some linemen don't, but oh well. And uh yeah, it's it is a rough day as Bert Favor has fallen. So after the game is a rather rough situation as everybody is in the locker rooms. It is a victory, but this may not feel like it. And everybody is sort of morose as the stadium goblins come by and clean out Bert's locker, all his belongings to be taken to the poorhouse. Uh, who's gonna pass the ball now? I don't know. Well, you two swing a mighty sword. You have strong arms, yes. Well, strong enough. Uh, does that mean I have to throw it to you? Yeah, it doesn't mean you have to touch me, but you have to touch the ball. Yeah, but the ball touches you. Oh, I see nothing but sickness from this. Well, I ain't licking my hands and I ain't licking the ball, so you have nothing to fear. As, he's, as he kind of finishes his sentence, you can see just a kind of a gross amount of sticky flemmy snot or something come flying out of his mouth and it's kind of hanging off in, a, in sort of a string off the side of his mouth and he slurps it up with his gross tongue <laughs> gross yeah Someone needs to fill Bert's place. Well, do you want to throw the ball? <laughs> or do you want me to throw a ball? Let's do what's better than throwing balls. <laughs> well, I don't want to brag. I bet you suck. <laughs> nah. Your coach, a former player himself, comes into the room and as if on cue, don't worry, we won't have to worry about any one of you throwing the ball. I have, well, I've come up with a solution. We're just going to run the ball. All the linemen look at, oh. We've got this miserable little rat, and we've got two strong blockers. We'll just run the ball, we'll never pass the ball again. And Skinner gets all the cold. I love shit. Hope you die next. I don't think it's gonna be a bit painful. <laughs> You gotta get close to him. You do. You have to be very close to Skidder. You have to be nearly touching Skidder to block for him. I'm already too close. I know you two have come a long way from your continent, but if you want to keep getting paid, you have to do what I say. Fight. Mm. Makes me wonder if other teams will pay me just as much not to smell this guy. 
Got a team is a wash. Look at what they got. Trolls and orcs. Besides, I'm the only one who's willing to go the extra mile to make sure that you both have your weird tastes satisfied with ugh, slaves. Anyway, look, <laughs> I know this isn't the ideal circumstance, but no one expected Bert to die. We'll have to push on. We've got a tough game next Saturday. So, I suggest you take this weekend to relax, have a good festog, and then prepare to deal with the restless. Always a tough, tough game. All right. All right, for one, feel like I need to let loose. I need to. Speaking of slaves. It's high. Wait, slaves? Mm. They're always fun. True. <laughs> well, that's all I have to say. There will be a memorial service for Bert in two days if anyone wants to go to it. If not, well, I'm buried with honors. His uh, funds will be distributed to the rest of the team as is tradition when someone dies. Anyway, any questions? <laughs> Yeah, who gets his locker? The next person that we hire. Well, I just noticed he has his credit. Oh, Skittles got to be way back in the corner. That's because you live there, Skitter. You're not going to ruin two lockers. <laughs> I'm going to go get drunk at home. If the rest of you want to get drunk, go for it. Have a good evening. Mm. Coach, rather uncaringly, walks out. <laughs> oh, who wants to celebrate? Uh, I, mean... I do, but not with you. Be cash. Should we go get a drink? Yeah, but I mean, she kind of looks over at uh, at Skitter. Yeah, let's just let's just go. I don't think we'd get very many places with them, but true. <laughs> Here the two of you are, and perhaps Skitter's lurking around. Just in the corner, crying. <laughs> <laughs> and there are other people from the team here, or perhaps we can use these to represent your slaves. Will you guys go out for a drink? Um, and there are others around it. This is a rather popular inn in town. Most players will come here before and after games, celebrate, have a good time, drink, or just be morose if they had a poor game. And you are free to RP among yourselves for a moment. Smells bad. He's not here all the time. Mm -hmm. Do you hear something? I only smell something. Uh, uh. Maybe we should have some more drinks. Maybe we won't smell them if we drink more. Mm. <laughs> You there. Give me more drinks. Hey? Oh, yes, yes, more drinks. What would you like? Mm. You pick. It better be good. Things to get me drunk. Mm. 
Uh, let's bring out the best we can. Oh, it's with me a moment. All Guy right. shuffles back and comes back with a, a few rather large tankards, puts them in front of you. This is something that we call a uh, amber grog. The orc in the back whipped up some of it with some of our ale, and well, people get pretty toasty. Hmm. It's actually not bad. Ah, uh, he likes it. Let's try it anyway. And Fakash will grab the tankard with both hands and just kind of dump it into her mouth. Oh yeah, it tastes horrible. You see, the <laughs> look at it. You see little bits of mushroom in there. I'm so glad I watched you drink it before I did. Uh, it's, a, it's a fungus beard. Mouse and just knock it over on the table. Garbage is what it is. I'm still gonna drink it. Tastes like butts. <laughs> but I guess I'm drunk. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're it. You it, the moment that you put it back down, you already feel pretty light. It's like, <laughs> hey, sweetheart, why are your eyes watering? <laughs> it's booze. It's, uh... it's because you're within 50 feet of us. <laughs> and I like the bear or skin eyes, kind of, kind of an acquired taste. <laughs> I don't know about all the acquiring this. And as you guys are talking, it's very quiet for a moment. And you see a large figure come in, hunching its back to get through the door, and then stands straight up and looks around. It's the whole inn is very quiet. Yeah, Skitter, Skitter will kind of uh, cower into a corner and make himself very, very small. <laughs> what in the name is that? Is this big? This is big boy. He <laughs> yawns really loudly. And it's kind of wearing an overcoat. Like, you can't see there, but it is wearing like a very noble overcoat with some furs and fluff on it. And it just kind of shakes it out and then looks for the doorman who's terrified, just cowering against the side of the door where the coats are. And, Do you mind taking this? Thank you. He just kind of drops it in the guy's hands. And, and he goes and finds a table rather close to yours, actually. That it was occupied, but the moment he approaches, they all clear out, and he just kind of sits there and looks over at you. And, Barkeep, give me your finest Kislevian red. And without saying anything, scurries off. Barkeep does. It's kind of sits there looking at the two of you. Mouse is gonna look right back at him. And for cash, we'll wave at him. Hi. Hello. For cash, Vex, and Malice, Fellhart. I don't want to know these. What's your name? You know who I am. You guys can make an int check to see if you actually do. But you are a bit drunk, so... <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sober. I didn't drink I'll say, yeah, I'll say TN9 for Malice. Uh, you know, we'll say TN6 for Malice, TN9 for Fikash, because Fikash is toasted. Yeah, you, you have no fucking idea. You can too, Skitter. Malice knows, and then Skitter, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Malice and Skitter know this is Borkus the Howler. Uh, he is... A star werewolf football player, or blood ball player, excuse me, TM, uh, for the Restless, which is actually the team you're going to be playing tomorrow. Um, this is later in the, we did a bit of a time skip. You guys have been celebrating for quite some time. Let's see you're playing the next game. Malice is uh, going to play it off like he doesn't know who he is. I never heard of you, friend. Hmm. 
You big fuzzy boy. <laughs> you make a nice coat. He is coat. <laughs> You're welcome to try to make one. Though I can't promise you'll be alive after. We're playing here in a few days, I think. We are? We are. Ah. I wanted to come take stock of the only two dark elves on this entire God's forsaken continent. Well, you're welcome for meeting us. Stay, <laughs> any, gosh, <laughs> stay any longer, you're gonna have to pay us. <laughs> I think I'll take my payment in blood tomorrow. Sorry, right, I'll take three liters then. Mm. And your fur. <laughs> I was going to suggest that you both take some dives tomorrow. You might have longer careers. But my cousin and I, well, I'm afraid that's just no longer on the table. Look, whatever you and your cousin do, it's your own business. <laughs> he just kind of looks at you. Oh, that was a joke. I see. Uh, I'm pretty, I thought I was pretty, pretty, pretty serious there. Hmm. No. Barkeep comes back and he's got a big glass of what you assume is red wine. He takes it, drinks it back, crushes the glass, and well, he kind of grinds the, the glass in his hand a bit. Maybe it's going to become your business. And he's going to toss this glass at you. You can make a reflex to avoid it if you'd like. Alright, let's see how this is going to go. <laughs> What's the reflex uh, number? Um, he's, he's fastballing it. We'll say P and 12. Alright, well, I'd like oh, to do yeah. is send it back at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, so you can definitely dodge it. Now, if you want to catch it, roll me another one, TM15. That's going to be tough. Ooh. He's fast. Lock it. Lock it. Oh! 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 No luck needed. Oh, my. So, describe how this looks. So, as he's sitting there, he sees the glass come flowing at him. He's just, he's going to grab it with one hand, spin, and toss it right back at him. <laughs> And it crashes against his nose, and that's going to do a point of damage to him. Clashes across his face, screams, Give him uh, a scar. Gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> I'll be quicker, and you'll be dead tomorrow. And he flips the table over. You rat! Don't think I haven't seen you. I'm going to turn you into a snack. Hey, puppy. Sit. And uh, <clears throat> Skitter just kind of bares his teeth in sort of a shit-eating grin. He's like, eh. Yeah, well, uh, well, shit. <laughs> Don't make me get a newspaper. Hmm. <sighs> Grabs the coat from back by the coat and it storms out the door. I know that at this point, Malice is gonna look at the lineman. So, uh, guys, you know, <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> you expecting us to fight a bloody werewolf? Yeah, you're the lineman. Man, no wonder. Bert got hurt and killed. I'm not on the job. We're drinking. What do you think yeah. we're doing? They ain't getting paid. I'm uh, not getting paid. I'm not blocking for you. Do I smell bad? You know, like the one guy over there that looks like a rat. He's a rat. <laughs> you know, he scored a lot of touchdowns. Got a block for him. He only scores them because I block for him and he cash blocks for him. I didn't see you doing much for getting knocked down. Well, I get knocked down so you don't have to. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, Mike's the point. All he 
to do is kick it away, and then I stick eggs right by him. Oh, oh, idea, idea. Okay, so tomorrow, so we can we can score. Uh, you make a ladder out of your bodies, and we'll we'll carry the rat over your bodies and jump over the werewolves and score every time. You want it? You want to touch me? Yeah, are you talking about? With gloves. We'll wear a full body protection gear. It'll work. It's <laughs> I'm not trusting no full body protection gear. It'll melt right through. It works out pretty good for us. And you see this guy has like four fingers in total. <laughs> <laughs> I like my fingers. Quick, how many fingers am I holding up? Five of them, because you don't have five. <laughs> oh, look at his hand that has three fingers and his other hand that has one. And the night goes on. Jess and merriment. And day by day, it comes closer until... Get out of here. Oh, baby. Was that was that Legolas? <laughs> that was gonna be that was gonna be your new quarterback, but the doc oh. on us. No. Shameful. <laughs> Shameful. Okay. You guys can replenish any luck that you spent or wounds that you had. It's been a while. Excellent Smithers. You come in, oh, this guy's probably not completely dead anymore, is he? So, you guys come into the the stadium here for this is an away game called, this stadium's called the Crypt, fittingly, for the Restless. And anyone want to roll me an int, int check TN9 to see who knows about the Restless? Well, surprisingly, I don't. At all. <laughs> what is this for, for all of us? Hey, that's for anybody who wants to know. Okay. Oh, okay. So, Malice is no fucking clue. Um, <laughs> for Cash and Skitter, you have both, you know, sort of looked over the, that guy does not have 33 hit points. You guys have both looked over the, you know, brackets and some of the teams that you're meant to play in the schedule. And you guys have come over to Restless a few times. You've heard of the Restless. It is a, is coached by a necromancer. Um, this team is comprised of mostly the, the newly risen dead. However, they have been able to bring along two very exceptional players, uh, Borkus the Howler and Sir Maul von Savage are the two werewolves on the team that are highly regarded as the probably the most explosive two-way players in all of the league uh, for scores and kills. They both have respectable numbers, so they lead no category. They are in the top marks for both as they have mauled and viciously dispatched several opponents. The team itself, other than them, is rather slow, but all very terrifying. Um, there are several skeletons, colloquially known as the Bones Brothers. And then there's the three leaders of the skeletal group um, that function as their brains, sort of, that are referred to as the White Brothers. Uh, so those are some, just some information on the team you're about to face. You guys are all warming up at this point. And, Everything's going pretty much to code. It's a very silent stadium, um, as most of the occupants are dead. So <laughs> there's not a whole lot going on in way of the stand. You have a few people that came out to support you, but they look rather uncomfortable, and they don't seem very interested in what's going on. They're more concerned about their lives right now. But uh, as you guys are warming up, it begins to get a bit more exciting, and in the distance... The announcer comes on oh. over the stands. 
All right, everybody, welcome to another Restless Game. Today, they're going to be facing off against the Patchwork BB Team. You hear just a bunch of bones rattling, what you assume might be booze. Uh, but can't really tell, as it is, again, a bunch of bones clattering together in a very disruptive and discordant sound. Coming out first, from the tunnel, the Bones Brothers. And surprisingly, some cheers come out. More like groans. <laughs> and there was much rejoicing. Yeah. <laughs> and a bunch of bones come clanking out. Several skeletons come clanking out, putting on helmets, picking up body parts as they fall off. Now, the brains of the team. The White Brothers. Three rather heavily armed skeletons. Heavily armed and armored skeletons. They have uh, spikes on their gloves. May not be allowed, you're not sure. Uh, but they do come out full head to toe clad in armor. And lastly, who you've all been waiting for. Borkus the Howler and Sir Mal Von Savage. Oh. Come out howling for the crowd. Doing rather acrobatic tricks as they come out back flips, side flips, and generally very athletic moves. As both teams begin to take their place in center field, waiting for the coin flip, the music fades. I don't like are, this. You guys are team captains, so you guys would be there for the coin flip. And this determines who gets the ball or who wants the ball and everything like that first. <laughs> oh, it's that time, huh? Yes. He's still drinking. <laughs> right. So a little goblin comes out. Wow. In uniform and All right. Gonna do the coin toss now. You want heads or tails? And looks at you because you're the away team. Uh, I'll take their heads. The werewolf's gonna chuck. <laughs> oh, all right, he's gonna roll. So your heads is gonna be you. So let's go um, under fifty or over fifty for heads. So let me know which one. Uh, we're gonna do a D one hundred. Go low. Low. Okay. That's not. There we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Coin flies up, lands tail. Ah. Better tuck him and run. And, uh, Borkus looks at the gal and let them have the ball first. I want to tear them to pieces for it. Big mistake, Poppy. As as they're talking tough, you you can see. Uh... <laughs> Skitter's tail sort of starts to go a little bit between his legs and his knees are knocking a little bit. Knock it off. I'm gonna be someone's lunch here soon. Yeah, stay behind us. You'll be alright. You oh, wonderful. And Sir Malvon Savage is kind of like tiptoeing the line near you, not crossing. I'm going after you, little rat. He clicks his teeth at you. Why don't you ask your cousin what happened to his face? I already know. He made a mistake. Won't happen on the field. Watch, <laughs> fell hard. Watch. We kill you. We rewarded. Well, I'll be wearing you as a coat later. Yeah. Goblin's like, uh, all right. Um, <laughs> you 
guys have have ball first? Which way you want to go? He's like pointing at the. Is there like a wind direction or a smell direction? <laughs> yeah. Not really. It's, right. There's a red and a black. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna go in the red. All right. Um. All right, take your places. Kick off. All that. Yeah. We'll we'll call a fair game probably. Sure you will. Kind of walks off. <laughs> they all. Start taking their places. He's for the kickoff. I wonder if he's the Ed Hockley's of Blood <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Who is that voice? <laughs> hmm. Strange. Um, anyway, so they all line up, and you guys can arrange yourselves however you want. I can set the linemen up however you want them as well for the kickoff, and then we'll roll with it. All right, well, as we're walking in position, I'm going to talk to Cash. You feel Cash, and we need to take those wolves down one at a time. We need to team up on them. So, one at a time? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll rip their throats out. First match. Yeah. We'll go for Porcus first. Damn, Porcus. More like Barkus. All right. <laughs> Uh, Ghost, um, do we, do we know which one might, might be the more, uh, imposing of the two? Like, which one might have more kills? Um, uh, so, three? typically, yeah, I'll give it to you. So, Borkus is known as a ball handler. <laughs> more than, uh, a killer. Um, so he's, he, he you know, he, he has killed from time to time. He is a, he is a creature of the night, uh, a feral beast of the night. But he, he's he's more taken into the cultured side of things. As you can tell, he's holding wine, wearing fancy coats. So he, he likes his star status as a scorer. Um, he's averaging two to three touchdowns a game right now. Uh, he has, he's right now he's holding the league record for the season of six. So he's very fast. And he likes the ball. Um, Sir Malvon Savage, as you might expect, is a brutal killer. Um, he has been known to... He, he There was a team they played of halflings about two weeks ago. And he, he cleared an entire lineup uh, in one half by himself. So he killed 11 halflings. Um, and then he killed two more when their reserves came on for the second half. So he has a massive kill lead right now over a lot of people, with the exception of a few of the Beastmen players who they don't even play football. They just come out here and kill people. So, <laughs> uh, Okay, so Skitter's going to kind of gesture to the two uh, Dark Elves. Hey, hey, I'm going to suggest a new tactic. What? I say... I say we kill Von Savage because if you kill Brock, as far as it might further enrage him, and I personally don't want him on my back. He is a killer. Uh, no, he's not a ball handler. <laughs> no, but you two as good as you say you are. Nice. Then, then I think he can handle Borkus handling the ball. Maybe. You might be right. We'll think about it. In the meantime, wash your tail. Don't get eaten. Oh, yeah, it's quite my specialty. We should throw you across the field. <laughs> Again, that means we have to touch him. Ah, I don't think about this. Ah. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Oh, the smart one. All right, Skitter, you getting that red? You want me in the red? Oh, the end zone? Yeah. That direction. I thought you were trying to kill me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, where do you want the? Uh, where do you want these linemen in particular way, or just like symmetrical sort of? Um, I mean, 
This is just a typical uh, return formation, you know. Yeah, I think it'd probably be okay just doing a straight line even. I mean, just yeah. bodies in the way. Just bodies being in the way is probably going to be good. Maybe, you know, like, uh, maybe three or four, like, four, yeah, four or five in the front and back here or something. That's perfect. All right. Left side skitter. Don't mind. I'm going to hold this. <laughs> All right. And the white winds up, kicks the ball, and. Come on, music. We're in with it now. I was muted. Um, are are these? Are you two moving? On? That's the way the direction we're going. Yeah, all it's right, your turn. Right. You guys' is turn first, so. All right. Malice is gonna go. Where are you going? There. <laughs> Trying to think of a nigga wall for him to run up. Shall I go behind? If you want to go be behind. <laughs> oh, Malice is hoping that Skitter does find the hole. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, uh, oh, so lands, let's see, because I tried to kick it towards the mid, it could scatter a few squares, so let's see. D8. Seven. Ball lands right here. <clears throat> okay, skitter goes up. Uh, do I have to make like a athletics check or something? A uh, basic TN6 agility roll. The ball has spikes on it. Agility roll? Yep. We're not agility okay. up. Yeah. Reflex. Duh. <laughs> All right. I mean, you auto pick this up, so <laughs> give round reflex six. Okay. Um. So he he catches it. You said, uh, well, yeah, they're trying to get it into this area, and it it could hit and scatter. Um, Skitter picks it clean out of the air before it, uh, to hit the ground so that it doesn't take one of those wild bounces. Mm -hmm. And then uh, seeing that these two here have moved up, he's, he's going to go ahead and start moving into that hole, through that hole. Maybe right in there. All right. Lime and will all start to spread out. I believe they can move six, so. They won't move their full move, but they will move up. These guys will move all the way. That's that. Let's turn one. Stay on your feet, boys. Girls. And remember, you, you know, if there's a anything we haven't covered as far as, you know, skills and things like that or doing stuff, just let me know what you'd like to do and we can figure it out. Okay. So, let me bring out my bone boys. All right, the skeletons are moving in. So 
these three kind of move up, staying back. They're kind of lying back and waiting to see what comes up. The rest of the skeletons move in. And we're going to just run the blocks down from the bottom. Mmm. Outstrengths him. And I might just do a mass roll for these. Oh man. He's <laughs> in bad shape. Oh. Well, we had a little team building the night before. We got we got the first use of this one this yeah. game. Yeah. So, as, as these skeletons move to engage, uh, a rather drunken lineman who, as you see, he's been toasting before the game, just barrels into the skeleton, and he explodes. Um, knocks him back onto the ground. Some bones fly out, and does he die again? <laughs> oh. Hmm. Just knocked out for the half. But he sleeps him. Your first drink is on me. <laughs> yes. oh! Scythe is just amped to be here. And I'll make yeah. these mass rolls for this. That was just an important one, because that would have meant that there was going to be some difficulty blocking that down. So their strength versus you guys's. And I'll steal a wound down the line. Oh. So just a wound down the line for everybody. Is that, that one went particularly well, but the other blocks don't. They hold them in place. Uh, but things aren't going too well. And then up top, we'll say that's uh, we can resolve that one separate because that one's actually a very pretty two at one there. Yep. So that's his roll. It's his roll. No, no, but the other guy gets a bonus. Outstrengths him. Oh, that guy's in trouble. Mmm, not quite. So his linemen are bullying that skeleton up there pretty badly. The rest of these are just hanging back, kind of waiting to see what's happening. You don't see them moving a whole lot. Um. That goes back to you guys. All right, uh, Mal's is gonna point it. This guy right there, as he's going in for the low tack, low block. All right, so now we gotta look at something new here. The skeletons are scary. You have to roll a will test of TN9 to throw blocks at them. Ooh. Not oh. if they block you. But if you block, if you try to block them, you gotta beat a willpower of TN9. Let's hope for some dark dice tonight. Mm hmm. I'll say. <laughs> I've been drinking enough for it. Go, go, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No one dirt on a good name. <laughs> grow, grow, grow your strength. Dice in it all night now. All right, another strength. Ooh, that's pretty good. Hey, hey, that's pretty good. That's, that's really good. So you, so you knock him down. Let's see what happens. 
That's not what I want. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, so he's, he gets he gets knocked out for that. Tell me about it. So as this male's charging up the field, he, he sees the line getting knocked around, and he sees the extra man standing there and tries to blindside him. And turns out successful as he throws a, a a low block into the knee. He snap his knee in half as he is knocked to the ground. And whereas most people would be in agonizing pain, the skeleton just lays there dumbly. Well, it's gonna have a nice little smile and pick up the bone that broke off and threw it. Kind of signaling for the dogs to go fetch it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. <laughs> so, uh, the cash will. Um, so, what is it? Uh,. The guy up here, SK six, SK six, uh, skeleton six. Is he already engaged? He is. So can I just walk past him? Uh, he would still have a tackle zone. He'd still take. He still take a swipe at you. So you would have to dodge. But it's a TN nine. So I'll assist in making this hole bigger. Then so she'll kind of step up and take a swipe at uh, SK six. All right, so roll me a dodge just to get by the one here. You could always go around like that way too, if you don't. Yeah, want to I'd probably just go like behind and walk around and go mm -hmm. through him. And yeah. Make yeah. it complicated. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. So you get your you get your two bonus dice from the skeleton, and this is gonna be destructive. So do you do willpower test first? You do. Ah. And I don't get a bonus or I do. Sorry. Mm, I wouldn't think so. Uh, no problem. Go ahead now. And one bonus die. Two. Two? Oh. Yeah, oh, I'll roll next with D6. I don't know why I rolled it. We'll, we'll treat that as the athletics test, but. Ooh, 14. 14? Yeah, okay. you got it. Alright, additional strength. Mm-hmm. Plus two? Or just... Yep. yep. Okay. Plus two. Oh my. Nice. <laughs> 24. Oh, yes. All right. Dropping them like flies. <laughs> Tell me about it. Is he dead? Not quite dead, but you do batter him. Tell me how badly you, you beat this skeleton up. Alright. So, uh, the cash kind of goes behind, uh, Malice, and, uh, squeezes right by him. And then, uh, pounces on number six skeleton, and just starts ripping him bone from bone, throwing him all over the stadium. Ah! Don't play with your food. Excellent. You hear a, a couple of jeers from the crowds as you're beating up the bones. <laughs> Skitter. Alright. <clears throat> so there's a fairly large hole in this vicinity here, but stepping through, let's see. I'd have this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. It's gonna actually move up into this area here. And Goblin's picking his nose, looking. Yeah, yeah keep going. Go, go, go get there. Yeah. And that's. He, he, I mean, I could, I could probably get into this area here, but I don't. I don't think I want to go that far. Have <laughs> this many guys attack at me. <laughs> you, know, you don't have to move your full movement, so you're fine. No, I, I think I, I think five is enough. I think that's fine. <laughs> Test some linemen, throw some blocks. See if they yeah, can get up there. <laughs> <laughs> Local lineman not feeling it, no blocks. No beer for you tonight. These guys will move up though. Yeah, you get to drink the grog. 
right. Yeah. Okay, so it's gonna be there. Turn now. This being your second one. Do the easy stuff for skeletons, throwing blocks. Uh -huh. You see the necromancer on the sideline raise his arms and you see some mystical energies start to flow and these skeletons are going to spend a luck die on their blocks as they're infused with energy. Mm -mm. Yeah, throw the ball at them. Varsity blue style. They didn't really do very well. Why throw the ball at him? Throw one of his corpses at his dick. <laughs> Ooh, that's a tough call. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have him roll again. Since they're both NPCs. Roll off. Uh oh. That wasn't even with their other die. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus wow. Christ. See, Solid. as the energy as the energy <laughs> begins to flow from the fingertips of the necromancer, your linemen are not looking good. They are getting battered back. You see some cut marks even. You're not really sure how they're getting cut up, but maybe the skeletons are using some things they should not. And then uh, you see it sharpened elbow bones. Technically yeah, part of yes. the player. Alright. Seeing an opportunity. A couple of whites are gonna move and he's gonna make his block first. He's gonna run up on Fakash rather quickly, still a bit slow compared to you when you see him run up and <sighs> stomping across the grass and it's gonna try to shoulder check you here. You do have dodgy, I believe. I believe that everybody I has it. Since you're all dodgy. Oh! Oh, I might use reflex instead of strength, huh? Oh, well. You could have, but you you smashed him anyway, so you get the counter block <laughs> now. Um, so go ahead and uh, roll me another strength. That's actually really good. A luck die. Send a mass or a teacup. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> All right, so you smack him, but good. To, oh, actually, reflex. Let's see. Oh. We're always doing the rolls now to see people fall. He, he stays up. <laughs> He runs up on you, he's getting ready to put his shoulder into you, and then you... And then she basically does a reversal. <laughs> Smacks him right in the face. Don't touch me, whitey! Smack. <laughs> wow. Oh, smacks him. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Pimp smack. Backhand. <laughs> I will tear you limb from limb, witch. Bring it. Another one runs forward. But he does not get the bonus because you have an assistant here. So it's going to be his strength. You can use your reflex or strength. <laughs> Let's go reflex. Ew, I think you'd have to move one square if you do that. That's fine. True, but I'll do it. Okay. Yep. Okay, so whatever square you want to move to? Uh, probably on top of this guy. <laughs> Alright. See? <laughs> the skeleton getting stepped on by your, I'm assuming, high heels. Why would it be anything Of else? course. Um, I run past in them. <laughs> just smashes some bones. Ah, you're dancing over him. And this guy swings fecklessly at you. Strength check? Oh no. 
here goes. Going into the lineman. Hold the line. Then. Hold. It's gonna be tight. Oh. 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 The struggle is it they're going back and forth struggling to stop one another. The lineman succeeds, he pushes back the white. And Oh he, he Oh my god. Oh man. Come on. What are, you, what are you doing to He's us? He's really serious about protecting Skitter, I guess. He must have been the one at the bar. Yeah. Oh! Oh, yeah. He gives him a shellacking. He knocks his helmet off. And you can see there's a big cave-in on this, this uh, white skull as his helmet goes flying into the crowd. And Hi. one of the crowd skeletons gets nailed by the helmet and torn to pieces by it. Yay! Uh, uh, a <laughs> Borkus. Moving What's up about? ever so slightly. You're, More like Borkus. <laughs> More like Dorkus. Dork, dork, dork. You hear a running on all fours. <laughs> Jermal Von Savage sprints across the battlefield right oh, into one of the linemen on the end here. And perhaps you don't see anything right now. And you might not hear anything either with that roll. Glad I didn't run that way. <laughs> oh, wow! Get punked! Are you kidding me? Woo! Hey, what's, what's the saying? He's getting banged on? Mm hmm. You oh, have maybe. been banged on. Oh man, are you kidding? Wow. Welcome to dice. <laughs> oh, he banged on him. He wants to hear. <laughs> you hear the, the running on all fours, and the crowd gets all excited, and then everybody starts booing because this line at the bottom locks him up, and actually. Uppercuts are all of in the <laughs> uh, Chips his tooth. <laughs> all right. This is you boys again. <sighs> all right. Well, Malice seeing that uh, one of the rates over here, this one right here, I was just distracted by the reflexes of Cash. Malice is gonna charge him, hit him right in the chin, like an upward, upward motion with his helmet into the chin of the grape. Mm. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Do it. Do it. In that middle one there. So would that be three dice, right? No, two. Um, one. one would be one extra because yeah. so you've got you've got one guy getting tied up here. This guy's kind of free in a way. On your team. And then, uh, the cash is lined up with this other guy, so you get one additional. He gets none. Oh, man. All ones down there, what the fuck? <laughs> Solid. Well done. Not bad for all three ones down hey! there. Hey! Look at that! No! Or do not! Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> my god! My loud. Tell me about it. you don't you don't knock out. Oh, let's see if he not gets knocked down though. I need to be making sure I check for that. I should have checked for that for Sir Mob on Savage since he got bullied. I'm trying to get my stinger. No bully. Oh. No. Tell me about it. So man, I'll see that he's distracted, takes the opportunity, charging in, goes low, and right before he makes impact, just drives the helmet right into the chin. Ooh. Knocks him backwards a bit, a couple steps, and shakes his head. And you see he had like a wayward eye 
uh, in his head that goes flying out. I don't know why he had the eye. Blue, a blue eye is weird. It's just like a glowing blue orb that goes scattering across the ground. Not my blue eyes. Now he's just got the brown eye. <laughs> his name Kaifa. Oh god, go ahead. Um, whoever's next. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Takash will take advantage of, uh, this other white being attacked by Malice. Punch him right in the jeans. If he's wearing jeans. You punched him in the jeans? <laughs> is, this, is this gonna yeah. be a, a cod piece punch? <laughs> cod punch. <laughs> oh no, alright. Let's see, wow, so... see how that goes for you. And um, they get bonus. Hits. You do get it. Yeah, you do get a bonus. Yeah, this one. Are you talking about the one that he just hit? Yeah. Yeah, you go ahead. Cool. Oh, it's not bad. Uh, yeah, maybe. She's trying to, it's just she's trying to hit. Yeah, she's trying to beat that dick off. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, you got him. All right. This will be interesting if this actually works. <laughs> That might, that might do it. We'll see. Oh, so close. So close. Oh, God. So describe this to me. So his malice went high, the cash went low. <laughs> wow. You heard some bones crack and pop and nice. no. Ah, just backstepping. Ah. Even, the, even the crowd. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> 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 All right. So Skits McGitz over here. He's gonna. Um, I can probably tiptoe this line up here. Yeah. I'd make you make an athletics test for, but yeah, not athletics, uh, but a reflex to keep your toes inbound. Okay. Because otherwise, yeah. you're going into the crowd, and uh, you don't you don't want that. Uh, yeah. The crowd. Yeah, I don't think I want to be in the crowd either. So uh, no, no. What's what's it to go through? It be a dodge. Uh, Just be a dodge. dodge. It'd be dodges, so you so, just, so you had to if you're so if you're going through you go here you go through three squares of dodges so you'd be up to TN fifteen on your last test. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just like last time then. Okay. Yep. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll make make strategy it. cotton. You're gonna be out there with your pants down. Oh, there's Wait. one. So move yourself. I'll I'll move the skeleton since his life doesn't matter anymore. So. Why is a skeleton? <laughs> Woo. It's two. Last one's fifteen. Yeah, and I'll lock this one. Okay. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you for the luck. So you end up. Um, so where are you heading uh, from there? You ended up one, two, three. Uh, one here. Or man. You gonna go hang out with Borkus, or where are you going? Uh, he's gonna go. He's gonna go. He's gonna hit hit through here and then I wanted him to work up along here and then try to work along the side here so probably okay. right in here mm -hmm. <clears throat> if that's okay yep so that's one two three four of your movements so you've got more left I think so you can go as far yeah as you can. yeah capitalize ah uh, yeah I'm gonna try and get to there then Mm -hmm. Don't forget, you can choose to go for it. It would be another TN roll reflex. All right. It'd be an extra square movement. So. Okay. Ooh. Well, let's 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 run it. Let's risk it. T TN nine. For reflex. Yep. Oh, nice. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. So you got yeah. The score. That's gonna end that turn. No blocks or anything else. And then, of course, as you might expect. No love. <laughs> no, that's getters used to that. <laughs> Sorry, Malice is holding up 
two hands with a number one on each each hand. He's <laughs> holding up two hands with a number one, huh? The middle one. <laughs> the middle one, but you know. <laughs> Alright, Jeff, you're up. Oh, Jeff, you're up. Oh, buddy. Borkus kind of trots past you and just looks at you. Yeah, let's see if the whole set touched our record at the end, eh? speech is disgusting. I was on your tail. I would have destroyed you. But now, you can't run because the ball will be in my hands. And he grabs the ball out of your hand. It's fine. To... I'm done with it anyway. He tries to push you down hard. Oh, why is this so mean? <laughs> no one likes rats. You can, you can I gotta make a reflex. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna try to push you down hard. There you go. Nice. Yeah, whatever you want to play uh -huh. that off. So, uh, Borkus goes to push Skitter, and as he's going, uh, Skitter sees it and he just kind of sidesteps. And uh, as as Borkus's hand is extended, the Skitter kind of grabs him by the arm and helps give him a shove, and uh, Borkus loses his balance a little bit and uh, kind of stumbles his way through the backside of the end zone. <clears throat> and, uh. Yeah, well, let's just, uh. Let's try and keep this a little more civil, eh? It's <laughs> 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 And a couple of goblets go, oh, hey, hey, keep it in the play, keep it in the play. <laughs> he throws the ball on the ground. Skitter kind of uh, quickly makes his way back over here. And he's like, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> you might just earn a drink for me tonight yet. <laughs> so, the way this works, we've reset as far as where we're at. Uh, he did score. We're keeping track of that. You got one on the board. Yes. You guys are gonna kick off this time. So what would it take to do an onside kick? Oh! <laughs> oh. oh, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, say it. Go. It's, it's a bold strategy, Cotton. Uh, I, like, I like it. I like it. All right, so here's what it would take for an onside kick. I'm going Madden rules now. TN TN15 reflex. Okay. Okay. And then the ball is so that's just to get the ball in a close square. It could still scatter. Uh, you just tell me the square you want to try to kick it to, and there will be a scatter with it. But uh, TN15, it will go. TN, if you fail that test, it still goes, but it might not go where you want it to. Uh, if it goes into the crowd, it automatically it gets tossed back into it. the player they're choosing. No one has to try to pick it up or anything. So, that's what's going to happen. I like this. Are you guys going to line up, obviously, for the onside, or how are you going to do this? Well, Skitter, Skitter is going to be somewhere up where he can get the ball. <laughs> <laughs> and, get, and get killed. I like it. Walls. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> we were like, we were All right. Running. So if I'm, yeah, the line's up here, guys. You, Malice, have to be Malice, get back. back here. So if um, <laughs> the lineman, <laughs> wow, he's been <laughs> trying. I'm trying. <laughs> he's been trying. He's been trying all day. All day, and you're playing hard to get. Light hard balls. <laughs> oh God! You, you Sim, you missed it. She just uh, crotch punched one of these whites. Yeah. She tried to. She tried to oh, kill them. Almost killed. <laughs> killed them. Okay. Um. So <laughs> this is—is is this the setup we're going for? Or? Uh, so I, I, I'm just, I, I'm kind of waiting in, until I know I, the general vicinity that he plans on putting yeah, this ball. I'm assuming you guys would huddle and discuss it. So you we're can... gonna, we're gonna put it to the, uh, to the, uh, to the left. So someplace like right in here. 
Yeah, some place not in the middle there. So it's get good yeah, get as close as you can to that left side. I'll try to pet it in that legal spot. As long as it's across the line. Yeah, does it make it does it make it across good, ghost? Is it is it legal? It, so it does have to if it if it ends up scattering back onto the line, it's not legal and it's the same thing as a throw in. So they'd get the ball on whoever they want. But one of us could catch it potentially before it comes back. Yeah, if you can, so if you, yeah, I'd probably make you roll for it. But yeah, if you can, if you can try to dive, you can try to dive across and catch it. Um, okay. All right, and then uh, all right, who wants to uh, who wants to make the cake? <laughs> well, that's why I, that's why I was thinking I was gonna kick it, but <laughs> why? Well, yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah boy. Just go back there. Hey, I'll buddy. Luck, I'll throw a luck die in here. Oh man. So what is it a uh, reflex? Ten, fifteen reflex. Yeah. You can do it. Yes. Oh, okay. So oh, where are you here? Buddy. Yep, perfect. <laughs> All right. D8 scatter. If it scatters to, let's see, starting from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If it scatters six through eight, it's a touchback. Unless you want to try to dive across, skitter. You can only skit. You can only dive on these two. You can't okay. dive on the eight. So if it rolls an eight, it is going to be a touchback. Unless you want the lineman to dive, but he could kill himself. You will take damage if you fail to dive, skitter, and we'll let you know that. But okay. Yeah. D8. I, I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. That's in. That's in play. You're good. You don't have to dive, but it's gonna land right okay. here. Okay. And so let's I'm... See if they notice, they do. They will get that chance to see because you guys are setting up kind of goofy. So let's see. They're gonna need a TN12. To... If they pass this TN, they will get to act as if it was their turn and they caught the ball. Whereas this would be a surprise round technically for you. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. The N12 intelligence. Ah. Since you guys are lining Horses up, ass. this this white in the back, he's looking at he's looking at you guys, looking at Malice very hard, and he's looking at the formation with his dead eyes. And... Trickery! The kick coming short! And yells it out to all the others as you're kicking. So they will get to act first. And in a heartbeat, Borkus sprints up, goes for the ball, and is going to try to pick it up. And Borkus, uh, if you I disappoint me on this. <laughs> He just, I mean, it's been one of those days. Come on, Borkus. Fail. Needs a six. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. God. <laughs> Snatches it up. That's his move. He's get him, Skinner. <laughs> ah, hell. <laughs> That's what... I was like, eh, but now I'm in the front line. I'm a sitting duck. <laughs> hey, uh, my, I'm going to get my dick ripped off. He's going to rip off my head, spit down my neck, and use me as an ashtray. Look, we're going to go out of the Bears playbook. Every tackle has to be a strip. That's... <laughs> hey, don't give away my strategy. <laughs> so don't give a, don't give away my strategy. Sir Maul von Savage is is upset about how poorly this went last time he fought a lineman, so he's gonna try to go for it so he can smash this one right here. Oh no! Hey. Dead see Sir Maul von Savage <laughs> sprint. That's Sir Bedivere. <laughs> Not lineman eight. No. Sir Bedivere. Run. It's actually, hey, actually, if you think about it, his name is El Mate. Uh, El Mate. Hey. Hey. So he made it. He's gonna try to smash it Wait. now. Let me smash. When are you guys gonna get this guy? We will. Gosh. Oh, these guys are disappointing me today. <laughs> 
was like, these werewolves, man, they might kill somebody, no. They're just Stiffly gonna... Peck them. They're just gonna get petted and... Hey, you did hit him, though. No! You want a belly rub? <laughs> Alright. And then... He will use one of his luck die on the damage. <laughs> Can't write it. <laughs> yeah, he's got all these kills. No. Right. The pets. Not today. Oop, no, I got wood. The gambling houses are rather upset about how this performance has been. Showed up to the wrong uh, bar last night. Yep. Yep. <laughs> And the Lyman stays on his feet. Thermomon <laughs> Savage runs up and gets some claws into the sky, but he's standing firm, not bothered by the stall. He's face down trolls. This is just a werewolf. Um, that's their turn. They're kind of waiting. All right. What, what I want to do is let some of my linemen move into position first. Is that possible? Let's attack Ma. Oh, would I, would I, would I just have to go before them still? Oh, you want the Lyman go first? Yeah, essentially, because sure. that way it increased the bonus die capability. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. No, you can, you can let, you can let them go first. Excellent. All right, so. So these guys would probably try to swarm on Savage. He's gonna get in there. You can do it! You can do it all night long. LM6, get in there. So we'll do uh we'll do a couple of these important ones here. Against Mon Savage, because this guy's gonna get a ton of bonus die. So, he's gonna get two dice. And he needs them. <laughs> 15. That was athletics, but it's he's got the same dice for strength as well. So, so Von Savage, we'll, we'll call that his strength. Uh, Von Savage taking on three linemen at once, but going after this one in the middle here, and is just gonna try to bully him down. So he kind of shrugs off the other two and he spurs forward. When, when werewolves take someone down, it's a plus one to the injury roll. Because they have claws. Dangerous, dangerous claws. But Almaid is not killed. He is merely dropped and beaten, and beaten senseless as a howl rings out. Hold the line, boys. Uh-oh. That was on his turn to G's. And then, uh, <laughs> in the middle here... Okay, cool. Go for the skeletons. We'll go for the skeleton here, actually, up top. We're gonna roll for just one and resolve all these skeleton and white hits, actually. So, strength. 
just for the interest of time. Okay. Oh! One damage oh, across man. the line. It's about time we won one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Not been going the greatest. Oh, wow, really? Okay. White down. Lineman shoulder checks and... So hard that he faints. Yeah. <laughs> Knocks him unconscious. Mr. Mob on Savage does not care. Get off the pitch. And at the bottom as well. Alright, so that's, the, that's everybody lineman wise. Now go ahead. Alright. So Malice and Borkus there. Bearing down rain on Skitter. Just gonna go right through Skitter here and put a hit on Bor on the uh, Barkus. And I'll use a luck die. Mm. You run up and he's gonna he has the ball, he's gonna try to defend himself. He'll use a luck die as well. Oh, did I do it right? Would that be a strength for the tackle? It would have been. Alright. Ooh. Okay. Now is there any way I could try to get the ball loose as I'm doing this? If you knock him down, you definitely will. So he he'd have to fail a reflex, but if you wanna go specifically for that. That's a tough question. How to how to do that? Um, you could try to reflex, knock it out reflex of Reflex versus reflex. Yeah, you could. That makes sense. Reflex versus reflex test to knock it out of his hands. God, that's a tough call because I want to hit him so hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can either choose to to smash him for damage or hit him hard, you man. Can, you can choose to do one damage but knock, but potentially knock the ball out of his hand if you if you pass the reflex. So it's up to you. Nah, I'm just going straight damage. All right, That'd be nice. Maybe I can knock him down and get it that way. Do a ooh hit. All right, go ahead. Another strength. Best music compilation. Best music compilation. Uh, mm. Oh man. Mm. Ooh. Hey, you Ow. smack him a bit. Let's see if he falls down. This is for all the marvels. Oh, yep, stay standing. So you run up and tell me about it. So he's, he's standing back, watching the lineman move up, watching where everybody forms up, and then sees Barkus, the, the holler there, getting ready to bear down on Skitter, and he's like, you know, Malice, just remembering the night before at the bar, just wants to barrel right into him, so he just zeroes past, right past Skitter, and just drives in the Barkus. A Borkus. Yeah, you drive into him, and he he eats a bit of the, the strike, and then he starts to recuperate, gets his footing back, kind of sidesteps around you. All right. <clears throat> Who's next? The cash will see that. The uh, howler's fairly engaged and uh, decide to take some vengeance for Elmate <laughs> and <laughs> run on over to Sir Mavon Savage. 
two additional die for strength. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Nice. Hey. That's pretty good. Too. That's some sexy stuff there. Oh. Suplex. To... oh man. Oh yes. Oh. All right. Wow. Another one. Oh yes. Same stuff. Ooh. And one more. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh, Twenty-three. Akash is the savage. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh! There's that first fur coat right there. Oh! oh. oh. Fur coat number one. Oh! oh. Tell us how you kill Sir Maul Von Savage. So, uh, the cash in all her reign, she's El made fall. She was happy to have that short drink with him, though she was fairly drunk, so she doesn't remember most of the night. But anyway, she feels kind of bad that he got knocked out. So in all her anger, she charges over and uh, she springs forward. And with the power in her legs combined with uh, her sharp nails, she actually goes straight through uh, Von Savage and rips out his heart and eats it as she lands. Oh! Oh, man! Even the crowd who's been just savage, just disgusting and hateful. Even the crowd cannot help but be impressed. Behold, the cash fund savage. <laughs> <laughs> Go and say, yeah, he, he, he was just about to roar and, ah, oh, I am fake fun. Ah, tears through him and just. Oh man, absolutely demolished. <laughs> Good God. Good God Almighty. Oh my Lord. Do you realize what you've All done? Right. You killed him. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, Skitter now, he's gonna move into this area here. And that's, uh, so I'll have to make the one skill check to get there uh for the dodge yeah yeah you're gonna try to go here oh yeah right there right right here don't yeah, forget no. about the double team what? dice oh yeah easy <laughs> easy okay um skitter seeing that uh Borkus the dorcas here is um occupied he's gonna actually try and strip the ball from him and take off you uh, try to steal so the ball Oh yeah, has to right. over here. Uh -huh. Reflex. Uh, do I, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, add a luck to that as well. Reflex My 15. Man. Go for it. Reflex versus reflex, or? Yep. Reflex versus reflex. Reflex. Oh uh, yeah. Reflex versus reflex. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. And and I'm throwing my luck on there. And do I get a bonus to to to, to this as well because he's engaged? Mm. I'll give you a flat one of plus two. I don't want not a full die just because he's right. he's still aware. Sure. Okay. Thirty-one. Shit. Oh. He's gonna. He's gonna lock it. I don't know if uh, <laughs> he can beat it, but. Hoo -hoo. I don't know what's sexier at this moment. All of it. All of it's going pretty good. My partner's no bounce. Oh no! <laughs> that was dangerous. <laughs> so let's see. That would be one action, two actions. And I'm and, I, and I've actively stripped the ball at this point. Yeah, you got it. You 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 can you can just take it from him at that with that. I mean, you're on 31. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that that would that would that would move. And then if I just take off, I can move up into this area, or do I have to make another dodge against uh, this white, white two. two here? Dodge. Do it. Another yeah, dodge. Sure you have to make another. So to get through here, so you're going from here to there, right? Yep, going through there, correct. That's a TN12. Okay, you going further? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to go all the way. All the way? 
Oh, oh the TN 15 to here, then TN 18 to there. So you started. Uh... All right. Let's gump it. I'm I'm locking it, and then I'm gonna lock it. Oh, Forrest Gump. There's 15. Next one's 18. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Come on, hey. do it. Oh. Oh. No. So as you're about to clear failure. this second white, unfortunately, he happens to just kick a leg out errantly, knocks your feet out from under you. You lose. The, so you're gonna you're gonna get knocked down. Uh, roll a d8 because you're gonna hit hard, and we're we're gonna see where the ball goes. Oh shit! Uh, so so where where am I at? Right about here. Yep. Uh, you're gonna be down though. Okay. Fuck two, two, one, two. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Throw me a D8. It's gonna scatter somewhere. Alright, sorry. Hey, good. It's all good. One, two, three, so it scatters forward. All okay, can forward. I... And, and I can... Can I attempt to, to scoop it up or dive on it? Well, you, you just fell. You got you got nothing. You just hit the ground hard. Oh, yeah. Just, um, it's a stand-up that uh, they use my... Yeah. Your guy, you're, you're, so your turn is done now, and you're gonna you're gonna spend this. You're, you're knocked down at this point. You're prone. So it's all right though. It's all right because you pushed him back. If anything, mm. well, the, and the ball and the ball is out here. So yeah. But it's their turn. Mm -hmm. It is. Okay. Scare leap catch. Just got scare leap Me and killed. Me, my caps button. They're gonna be fighting. <laughs> That White's gonna go attempt to pick the ball up. I'm just adjusting things. Tend to pick up the ball. Just gotta roll a six. Easy as you like. Who's that? Oh, oh. picked it up. So this white picks the ball up. It's gonna move back one more square. This white. Now, we're gonna teach everybody about a new mechanic. Unfortunately, Sim's not here, but that's fine. Hmm. Fouling. So, fouling is a part of the game. It is uh, sometimes a dirty thing. Uh, when a player is down, a player may attempt to stomp, kick, or flop onto them to cause damage. Uh, fouls are guaranteed to do one damage, but are followed by a strength versus athletics roll to see if any additional damage is done. However, the referees occasionally call fouls they see, so a fouling player must roll either a reflex or aptitude with an initial TN of 9 to avoid being caught by the ref. So, no, 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 good luck, Skitter. You said I took a damage, though, when I you're, fell, you're, right? You're, uh, no, I'm not gonna do that to oh. you. So you're gonna take one damage uh -huh. from him because he, he walks up and he just plants a boot in your back. And uh -huh. so you're gonna take one from that. Mm-hmm. Filthy Ratney. So, now your athletics. Athletics. Is that, is that spelled athletics or is it? It's uh, athletics. Athletic. Jesus Christ, bananas. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh, <laughs> rat boy. He gone. <laughs> Oof. Just barely avoided uh, bad news. Consider yourself very lucky. So he's just unconscious. Yep, so he walks up and... 
and just stomps you. Boom! Kids, you're right in the small of your back. Curb stomp. Yeah, let's see if he's gonna catch that foul. Uh, what's better for these guys? Aptitude is better. Seems to be to aptitude nine. He does. So he, he kind of casually makes it look like he was just, you know, stomping real hard in the ground as he's walking around. He plants a real hard boot and then ksh, boots you and then steps over here. So that, that's 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 a small boot icon if you guys can't tell. <laughs> nice boot. Wanna boot it. I'll boot that. <laughs> uh... So Skitter is off the pitch. You can take a lineman for the rest of this half. Or we can use the apothecary and bring you back right away. Yes. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, Madden rules. That means no one else gets it. Madden rules. We go we go for it all at the front. Mm. <laughs> I went for too much, maybe. <laughs> no, no field goals, no punting, nothing. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> At least decision. I didn't wind up. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I, you guys want to use? Yeah, I think the apothecary. I mean, yeah, I think it's going to be most beneficial. Mm, yeah. Yeah. You get, you get pulled off, pretty much quickly carted. And you got this real gnarly guy, full head to toe robes with belts full of potions and mystical lotions. And he sprinkles some dust on you, slaps you a couple times, and you wake up feeling brand new, smelling a bit strange. You actually smell good. And huh. you're standing there on the sidelines. Like, well, get back on the field. Uh, so. Replaces his wounds entirely. Yep. Okay. But he's done his he's done his good deed for the day, so he's no longer interested in helping the club. Um, he is gonna walk right out, and that's it. So anyone who dies or anything else, no saving. But you can go right back. You can even come right off the sideline if you want. They, they, they think you're dead. <laughs> I can can I can I take a turn right now? You can get right back <laughs> on the field, but you can't like damn take a turn. It's their turn still. So that ball's still just sitting there. Yeah. Oh, he got picked up. Yeah. Picked yeah. Up. yeah. All right. White. Uh, and then we'll do one for the skeleton. This for fun of these. This is going badly for him. Mm -hmm. Their, their, their line has filled them. <laughs> yeah, their line has failed them terribly. It's all Von Savage's fault. Yeah. Oh my god, that guy got crushed. That guy was a bitch. He's <laughs> <laughs> just too strong. Oh you wow, get it? these skeletons. Get it? Get it? Because uh... he's, he's a wolf. Because he's a wolf. Nobody picked uh, up on that. This game, this game <laughs> might be might be coming to a close. Yeah. That's gonna wipe out all the. Oh god, how's this gonna go? Oh, so, oh my goodness. Let's go down the line. They're all going out. Oh my god. Your linemen have have done their duty today. Yeah. Oh man. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. 11 and 10, that's a skeleton with a stat down, so he's gonna be even more useless. One of them is completely out of the game, then one of them is knocked out just for the half. So, Sweet. all around the line, you hear bones breaking and snapping at the very bottom, and perhaps inspired by you, Fakash. In return for one of these skeletons trying to swipe at him, LM4 grabs and just yanks out 
the arm off of this one skeleton completely and holds it over his head victoriously. And you start to hear not as many boos, but perhaps a rocky moment turning the crowd. Yes. The undead are very excited to see their home team getting torn to pieces. <laughs> uh, literally. Yeah, getting, getting ripped apart. And then his stat down. Yeah. I'll deal with that later. But they all, so they, they're all, so this is looking like a pretty uh, empty pitch right now. Um, Malice is just smiling at Barkus right now. At Dorcas. 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 <laughs> Porcus the Dorcas. Yeah, he's I mean, he's gonna try to. He, he's got oh man, he's got nothing to do. Actually, he looks at the odds around him and he sees skeletons falling apart. He's gonna try to dodge back, and he'll roll a TN nine to do so. This would be this would be the time. Please to fail. fail. Yes, please fail. He's in bed if he fails. That says a stunner coming up. Oh, barely. <laughs> oh, no. Um, so, just barely missed getting a, a boot on him. He runs back behind this white and is going to take the ball from him. Even better. <laughs> All right. That's it for him. Um,. You might send us home, so go ahead. All right, so Malice and Dorcas go running backwards. He's going to get try to get one, two, three, five, six. Perfect. What's the movement on our line? Uh, six. Oh, sweet. Seeing that. Got to make a dodge. Yeah, yeah. You gotta do some dodging for that pass because you passed by this guy three times. Oh man. It'd be uh, right. 9, 12, and 15. Take the long way. I, mean, I should just went. Got seven. I should have just went direct. Alright, 9, what was, it, what was it again? 9, what? 9, 12, and 15. Alright, and dodge is reflexes, right? Mm hmm. 9's the first one. Okay. 12. Okay, 15. Oh! <laughs> easy! Make it look easy, swinging at you, swiping at you. Goddamn the elvish agility. <laughs> <laughs> and I am just gonna do like a try to do a fine clothesline right at the helmet of uh, the growl, the grip, oh. and do one of those nice little face mask turns. Night Train Lane, do it! Choo choo! And I'll throw it like that in it. Oh, man. Bold strategy. <laughs> Not bad. Solid. Oh! oh. Ones. Go ahead and roll the, roll the strength. About Jesus. Oh! Ain't gonna do much. Oh, oh no. Jeez, it's <laughs> so it's it's a little bit of a closed line, but he he gets his arm up in time to block it, and it just kind of pushes him back. But you hear some breaking and cracking, and you're pretty sure that that's not you know like crackers in his pocket or something. That's probably some bone. He's not feeling it, not liking life right now. It's pretty sour and uh, very easy. <laughs> just snarls at you. Damn you, fell hard. I told you that he's not gonna go good for you. All right, next. Uh, so for cash runs up, let's see. For cash smash. <laughs> we'll laugh if the cash kills both the werewolves. <laughs> it's gonna oh. be something else. <laughs> All I wanted was the TDs. So, oh, TDs. I think that was, so you're moving, I think that's eight squares to get there. So you'd have to roll a TN uh, nine to get that extra square to hit him. Okay. Okay. In, uh, TN nine reflexes? reflexes. Mm -hmm. It's relying on your 
Done. Yep, easy. So go ahead and roll it now. All right. Charge. With a luck. No, 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 no. Let's do basic. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'll say look at the image. <laughs> Fourteen, respectable. Oh, she gets a plus one with me, right? No, no, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shoot. Oh. run up, charge him, he turns to meet you, and he's just able to get his paw up in time. Ah. Alright. Lineman! Oh, no, Skitter. Go ahead, Skitter. Yeah, Skitter McGlitter, man. Uh, so I think he can move into here if he if he presses it. That oh, yeah, he can press squares. it. So, he, so let's see, so let me go back to where you were. Yeah, count the squares. It, it was ten. Ten? Ten it, squares? Yeah. Let's see, yeah, one, it, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it'd be ten to get there, and if you're trying to hit him, it's going to be an eleven square. So you'd need a nine and a twelve. All right. Do you know, it. Push it. There's nine. They don't call it blood, full, blood blow for nothing. No. Blood blow. Oh, God. No. So you get right. one bonus die for strength here. Ooh. If you're trying to smack him, mm. let me smash. What are you? What are you trying to do here? Skinner's gonna kill a wolf. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah. You said I get a bonus die. You get one bonus die for strength. All right. So I'll just add that on my luck. Ooh. Uh, I'll just no. I'll just put it in as my luck. You do have claws, so you do add mm -hmm. plus three base to your strength die as well. Yeah, so I just. Yeah. Alright, I don't think this is gonna be any good, but let's do it. 15. So 15? That ain't That's bad. bad. Not bad. Not, bad. Not, not terrible. Oh, but, uh, what, double, no, not double six because you had three, but whatever. That's still pretty good. 15, not bad. Dork is gonna throw out some dock dice here. Yo, you betcha. <laughs> yeah, you betcha. Uh, all right. Oh, okay. It's a lineman. Crowding like in. <laughs> just, just going absolutely buck wild. Um, they, they were not expecting the game to go this well at, at all. So. This white is about to get wiped off the face of the earth. <laughs> He's gonna get a three bonus die. And they're all gonna get yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hand wave this. These linemen pile in to this white and he blocks a couple here and there, but they just beat him to a pulp, just repeatedly pushing him around, slamming him all over. <laughs> You get this and one of, them, one of them finally takes off. One of the linemen takes off his helmet and smacks the white over his, his head. <laughs> you get this call, call us the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Leon <laughs> White over there. <laughs> oh. And then this block on the white with all you got, with two of you guys assisting. God, it's a scrum. <laughs> so it's with mm. one and... No, oh, good. Yeah. Twelve. Oh! <laughs> wow. Ooh, wow. How badly is he battered by this? Um, probably not much. Whoa. Oof. Pretty tough. Yeah, 
he's not gonna no, kind of no. pile in and beat on him a bit, but he's a tough undead with all his armor on. Their turn. Well, there's not much else for him to do. Uh, Borkus is gonna go for go for the glory. Um, dodge through here, dodge through there, and then tiptoe the sideline for the rest of his movement. And he's gonna push it the whole way. We're gonna take Doc Dice to a whole new level. He <laughs> and nine for the first one. So he looks around. He looks like he's gonna strike out at one of you, and he sees a small gap. Oh no! And he tries to. Uh, uh, it's a small yeah. gap over by the over by the tight end. Yep. There's one. Also, big a busker drive, sir. Twelve. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Breaks free. Fifteen. Dice. TN 15 to run the sideline. He's used one, two, three. This is his fourth square. He's going to use his luck die. Oh, no. It's all right. It's still bloody mess. Tiptoeing. Borkus. Borkus tiptoeing the sideline. He sprints past the two users swinging at him, tries to break free. He's halfway down the field. This other white, uh, he's gonna just try to not die. Let's see. Did he try to screen for his boy or just take up as much time as he could? He's gonna try to run to block up this group here. So. TN9. Duck dice! <laughs> TN12. He's gonna try to dodge into the group. Oh no. He He's tries down. to dodge in to tie everybody up, gets knocked down to the ground. And it's back to you guys. Alright, seeing Dorcas move on up. He's gonna, Malice is gonna follow in suit. Which is gonna be pretty clean run there, but I'm gonna have to go in an extra just to hit him. Mm hmm. TN9. Alright. That's reflex, right? Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay. You can try to hit him. Alright, because my objective is to set him into the crowd. Oh, <laughs> shit. Do it. it. Alright. Uh, it's not bad. Yeah. Orcus roll. No dock rolls, please. Can't help that. <laughs> <laughs> let that let the dice fall where they may. No. Oh, oh man. Dock <laughs> roll. Good God almighty. So you go to push him in the crowd, he happens to swerve just enough to miss. Rest of you. All right, let's see. Might have to zoom past the white. He's down. Oh, he's down. Oh, perfect. Yep. Yeah, so it's clear can, field right now. Yeah, yeah, I can just get to him and then probably have to roll to hit him. Like the nine. Mm, one, two, three. Yeah. Yep. Send him into that crowd. See if I can make that reflex. 
You get the second fur coat for us. <laughs> yeah, we want one fur coat guaranteed. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Right. Made it. Oh, Give me one bonus die. <laughs> he's, un he's unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. It's too slippery. He can't be stopped. Slippy boy. So to move past my own team, uh, do I still have to make a dodge? No. All right. They're, they're, so then they're, I... they're worried about boot stomping this white right now. They're not. They wouldn't hit you anyway. So this is eight. Okay. So you can hit him. Mm hmm. To the crowd. Two bonus die for crowd. strength plus your plus three from claw. All right. That's so. But, uh, nine, two, three, two bonus. Oh, 18. 15, 18. That might be, that might do it. I'll we'll have to wait a roll on us. Six. 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 Flanged. Oh, yeah, baby. Yes. Let's get out. So oh, now, now I have to. No, that's it. Tell me about it. So, uh, Skitter <clears throat> sees Borkus the weak, Borkus the feeble, Borkus the cowardly. <laughs> Borkus make the a petty. dash. Make a dash to try and escape uh, the is is his next point. Also sees Malice and, and, and Fakash take off, and uh, he so he 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 also turns and just makes a beeline to to get across the field, and he sees that the other two uh, have slowed him up, and that that Borkus is distracted by them momentarily, and he moves in and strikes with claws and teeth raking and goes for the throat he jumps in like a rabbit like imagine the rabbit from monty python and the holy grail that's what he's like he's like ee! just going right in at the throat and just starts tearing and then as he's as the the, the throat is gashed open and blood spray is on the fakash and malice he he sort of does a kickoff and kicks Borgus in the chest and, and Borgus goes flying into the crowd and Skitter does a little backflip on his feet balanced by his tail po poised for more action but surveying the field he sees there's nothing left yeah definitely not so wow <laughs> kicked into the crowd kicked him um, kicked him the you know, the skeleton hand, this, this is one of their home team players. They're not tearing him apart or anything, but they aren't really pushing him back in to keep going. He's got his neck torn out. He's getting pushed around. They're pushing him towards the vent so the necromancer can save his miserable life. So he's only down one werewolf. And the goblin looks nervously at the three of you posted up against him. He's not really used to having players so close. The ball itself gets jostled around a bit, thrown back in. Lands about here. Not that it matters. And then uh, these linemen all take turns fouling the white. So, so as, as Malice sees the, <laughs> the Borkus getting pushed back in towards the bench, she's going to go over to Borkus and only do the, the, the right thing in this situation and mount him to show his dominance and ride the ball. <laughs> I was thinking you'd lift your leg and pee him. No, nah, I'm going to ride the ball. <laughs> you jump on Borkus's back as the uh, the arena skeletons are trying to carry him off, and they basically react very slowly, trying to push you away. But no, no, away, no, he wounded, no, no, he's trying to just a couple of clattering bones. And the bull, get her, get her. 
Take the ball. Okay, so Skitter <clears throat> starts to pick out a little bit of flesh from Borkus's throat. There's a little bit stuck in his teeth, and his teeth are all covered in blood and gnarly at this point. Mm. He he sort of pockets the pick and the, and the hair. He wants the souvenir, <laughs> and he scurries scurries down, scooping up the ball, and uh, he were or someplace scoops up the ball. You need me to make a check or just call it? No, it's just, so you it's every 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 uh, <laughs> every one of the other players is gone. So if yeah. you want to just score and run the timeout, you certainly can. The, the necromancer, like it, you can score as you you're, you're scoring. Necromancer just kind of walks over to the booth and starts talking with your coach. You know, you catch bits and pieces of it, Mal- Malice and Fakash, because you're both right around there. It's like, if you can, if you want, you can make an int test to see if you can hear what's said. All right, PN nine. I'm all ears as I ride the bull. Yeah, all for funsies. For the no. titty. Not even paying attention. No, doesn't matter. <laughs> you catch. You catch bits and pieces for cash can make one too. She yeah. wants. I'm trying to click her, but it's not working. No. You got, you your, you got your yeah. You got your measure wrong. Stop measuring. Yeah. Ah. yeah you measure your guy. You keep measuring it. I need to measure my intelligence. Look, it's measure big it. enough. How big is the intelligence? Not, <laughs> not big enough. Only <laughs> four inches. <laughs> so you, so you get you get bits and pieces. Like, I'm, I'm tired. Not enough magic. <laughs> All my players are dead again, you know, sort of things like that. They concede the match. The first time that the wrestlers have ever conceded a match in 15 years of being a league team. In the first (laughs) half. In the first half. Not even halfway through the first half. Completely and utterly dominated. Well done, so, so uh while that's happening, Scooter does pick up the ball and he, he runs for the end zone and upon scoring he does a most impressive uh worm from one end uh of the end zone to the other. Just kinda taunting the rest of the bone daddies out here. And uh and once he's done he's like wow, What do you think now boys? Who's the reigning touchdown champion? He throws his arms up almost uh, as almost like gladiator and he's looking around trying to soak in whatever cheers or jeers he can get and he turns back to the line turns back to the line and he says drinks are on you tonight boys And Fakash will walk over to the bloody corpse of Von Savage and kind of uh, pick it up, and put it on her back, and kind of like walk around with it. <laughs> Good God! I, I'm a, I, I want Barkus's tongue. <laughs> oh, you might have to you might have to fight some people for that. There's a they they've got him carrying him off. There's several skeletons in the way. The necromancer, you can try it. You can try Give me a roll. The bench. Give me a roll. I'm storming. Storm the bench. All the so you just going by yourself. <laughs> I, uh, I'm ho- just coming out. And... I'm hoping the troops rally behind me. <laughs> yeah, you better get them riled. We're <laughs> we're blood bowl players, not killers. <laughs> they insulted us on our home turf. So they came to our bar. <laughs> they owe us blood. We've got fun, Savage. Well, I have fun, Savage. Pinch your him in the face with a glass. <laughs> he threw it first. That's not enough. <laughs> we gotta cement ourselves as the team of the future. We have. <laughs> They're down. <laughs> 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 to 
Two victory, boys. Two victory. <laughs> Total you dominance. You rush the benches as the arena skeletons frantically move to get out of the way of the 11 bloody and battered men, including the coach, since he's in on as well. Uh, all of you pushing forward. The necromancer tries to throw some spells around, but like he said, he's tired and he, he's out of he's out of juice, so he tries to run. And Borkus is just laying there. A couple of arena skeletons attending to him, hold their hands up. Oh, I'm kicking their hands away. I don't want that tongue. Talks too much. <laughs> <laughs> so he's knocked out. Um, so just describe how you rip the tongue out of Borkus's mouth. Seeing the skeletons throw their hands up on the mouth, again, kicks them away. Nah, I told you, that was gonna be good. Nile, your tongue is mine, because you talk too much. And as he reaches in, he's gonna grab hold of the tongue and, and step on the throat as he pulls it up and just cuts it. And then he's gonna... You know, it's a, it's, I'm pretty, pretty sure it's a long tongue. I'm gonna wear it as a bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> Walk away with a, a bow tie tongue as no. Borkus as the skeletons frantically move to move him to the back of the arena. And the scene fades.